first thing I want to talk about is how we distinguish different types of bacteria based upon morphology. Okay, so anytime you see O-L-O-G-Y or L-O-G-Y at the end of anything, it means the study of. So biology is the study of life. Morphology is the study of shape. So we're looking at three distinct shapes, bacteria. So we're classifying them based upon three different potential morphologies. The names of those different morphologies are Caucus, Bacillus, and Spirilla. Plural of each of these, that would be Cocci, Bacilli, and Spirilla. And here's what each looks like. Here is what a cluster of cells that would be classified as caucus would look like. Cocci, I guess, since they're many cells. So this would be cocci. Bacilli typically look something like this. And spirillum, or spirilla, kind of look like, like that. Okay, so an easy way to remember these three classifications is to go by alliteration. You'll notice that I drew the cocci as circles. So, caucus is circular. Both begin with a C. Bacillus are either bar-like or brick-like. And either of these begins with a B. And spirulum, I have some students who tell me they look spiral-like. I think they kind of look snake or string-like. But in any case, all of those begin with S. So caucus, circular, bacillus, bar-like or brick-like, spirillum, spiral-like, or snake-like. Just one thing to be cautious of, a lot of students confuse bacillus with spirillum, and here's why. Sometimes you'll actually see what looks like chains of bacilli that kind of make something that looks like a snake. The way to tell the difference, first of all, is the fact that these cells typically look to be slightly larger than these cells just by themselves. And beyond that, this chain is going to be much larger than a single one of these cells ever would be. Beyond that, if the chain bends, you will see a distinct break between the links. Whereas this, the curves are very, very smooth. So be careful distinguishing between this and this. If you need to, go on to Google Images, find different pictures of each of these types of bacteria, and look at them so you start to feel comfortable with identifying this compared to this, and this compared to this or this. All right, so that is the tutorial on morphology, one of the ways in which we can classify bacteria. Now I want to talk about the other way that we can classify bacteria, 